Okay, uh, this lecture we're going to be discussing Excel, how to open, close, and save Excel workbooks, how to uh, insert and delete Excel worksheets, and how to insert, delete, merge, and split cells in an Excel worksheet. We'll also describe how to insert and delete rows and columns in an Excel worksheet, I explain how to create and edit formulas in Excel using the formula bar, and describe how to create a chart using Excel. Microsoft Excel is a spreadsheet program that's used to enter, manipulate, calculate, and chart data. An Excel file is referred to as a workbook, which is a collection of worksheets. A worksheet is comprised of rows and columns of data to perform calculations on. So let's go ahead and take a look at Excel. I'll change shares here. Okay. And so um, this, I'll go ahead and close this out. And this is, let me continue sharing it. So um, this is what a uh, Excel looks like when you open it up. Let's go ahead and show how we can create a new worksheet. So I'll come over to File, click on New, and we'll just create a blank worksheet here. And you know, I can type information in and so on. So I'll go ahead, now that we uh, have done that, um, we can close a worksheet by just coming over and let me start this again. We can close a worksheet by coming over to uh, File, and then Close, and it'll ask us if we want to save. I won't save this particular worksheet. And now we're in a, a new one, so I will bring it back. We can also um, open existing workbooks. So if I come over to File again, and I can either use the Open dialog box, or in my Canvas, I have recently used worksheet workbooks that I can open. So I'll go ahead and open one of those. And now I've got this new worksheet opened up. <clears throat> and <clears throat> you can see um, that it was quite easy to open this up and I can you know type information in so let's type in some information so I'll go information and then I can save that by coming over to file and save Now it's saved, and I can close this uh, just the same as I had closed the other one. So I'll come over, go down to close, and now we're ready to start again. So here's uh, Excel. Uh, one last thing we can do is we can create a worksheet using a template. These are, a template is a file with predefined settings. Um, and an Excel template makes creating a new workbook easy 
and it also results in a professional appearance. So some examples of workbook templates are balance sheet, sales invoice, and loan amortization, but there's many of them. So again, we come over to file, file, new, but now rather than use a blank workbook, I'm going to look at some of the templates that we have. So I'll select blue invoice and I'll create that. And now that I've created this new uh, workbook with the blue, with the invoice, I'm ready to uh, enter the information in. So I can enter the company name, I can put item descriptions and amounts in, and so on. So this is something that has been predefined to have a professional appearance, uh, and it was easy for me to uh, create this template, and then I can save it. So I'll go ahead and, in this case, I, I won't save it. I'll go ahead and close, and we'll get back to plain Excel. So let me share that. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna open up uh, the uh, first worksheet we were working on, the demo. So I'll come over here, file, and then I'm gonna pick from recently used workbooks. I'll choose that one. And here we are, we got the information that we typed in and I saved, I'll get rid of that. Now, this is, we have one worksheet. Uh, we have one worksheet in this workbook that I've just opened up. We can also create additional worksheets if we need to. So I can come down to this plus sign towards the bottom, click on it, and now I have a new worksheet. If I double click the sheet two name, I can put in a different name like GMR demo or whatever we want to call it. And we can type information in and do calculations and whatever else that we need to do. So very easy to add worksheets. Likewise, it's very easy to delete worksheets. So let's uh, say at some point in the future, I decide I don't really need this GMR demo worksheet in my workbook. I right click that GMR demo worksheet and in the pop-up menu, I select delete. And it asks me if I wanna continue and I say yes. And now I'm back to just the one worksheet. So we can also work with cells and cell data in a worksheet. So we may, for example, want to add some extra space or more information into the middle of our worksheet. So let's say we have to add a new cell and we wanna add it right here at uh, Debbie's age. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll right click this cell and I'll click insert. And I have options, but I'm going to say shift the cells down. So you can see it's now shifted the cells down and I can enter some information in. Um, again, when you, when you insert a new cell, you have the option of shifting the data down or to the right, or you can shift, uh, create a whole new row or a whole, whole new column. Now to delete a cell, again, I click on the cell I want to delete. I right click that cell, come down to the delete option and click that. And I have some options, shift cells left, shift cells up and so on. So I'll say uh, shift cells up. And now we're back uh, to where we were. We can also merge and split cells. So I'm gonna come up to row one. I'll right click on it and I'll click insert. 
and I've just added a row. Then I can come over and highlight some of the uh, rows that I'm interested in, and then I can uh, do a merge on those. So you'll see this icon up under alignment, and this is the merge and center icon. So I'll go ahead and click that. Now notice I've merged those three cells together, and when I type something in, it's uh, going to use the space in all three of those cells, and it'll center the results. I can likewise uh, select this, these merged cells, and I can unmerge them. So I go up to this icon and click the down arrow, and then I can click unmerge. Now I've got three separate cells. It moves my text to the leftmost. And I can delete that. Likewise, I can come over to this row I added, and I can right click that, and I can delete the row. So very easy to insert rows and columns and so on. I can uh, also copy information, uh, and I can then paste it somewhere else. So let's say I want to copy some information about Jeff, so I will highlight that information by clicking on the cell and then dragging it with the mouse down to the over the selection I'm interested in. Then once I've done that, I will right click that selection and do copy. Then I'll go over to another cell, right click that cell and click paste. And now I've got a copy of that information uh, for Jeff. I can likewise do a cut and paste uh, just as easily. <clears throat> so very easy to enter text into cells. Let me delete this. So I can add uh, someone else in here and I can say, um, let's go with uh, River and he is three in West Virginia. So very easy, I just click the cell I want to add the text into, and then I start typing the text. And I can add text into the uh, cells very easily that way. Now we can also uh, apply number formats. So formatting numbers changes the appearance of the data, but it doesn't change the value. Uh, the formatted number is displayed in the cell, and the actual value is displayed in the formula bar, which is up here. So the um, formula bar has the raw data, and then the cells have the formatted data. So let's take a look at how we might format some cells. So I'll highlight a group of cells. I will right click them. And then from the pop-up menu, I'll select Format Cells. So let me switch over to this pop-up window. And let's see where that is. Uh, and I can select Number. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it with two decimal places. And you'll notice that now, when I look at the cell, I've got 1.00, but up in the formula bar, I only have the raw data, which is 1. And likewise, I can switch it back, highlight the uh, selection, go down to Format Cells, and I'll go back to General. And so now I'm back to where I started with uh, a general number format rather than a, a specific with decimal places. Um, we can also apply styles. A style is a combination of effects that can be applied at one time. And 
They're going to have formatting such as character effects, background color, typefaces, number formatting. And uh, Excel comes with a number of predefined styles, including currency, comma, percents. And you can create your own styles with the style dialog box. So to create a style, I'll go ahead and highlight my information. And then in the styles, under home and styles, I'll select cell styles. And I will look at a calculation like this. So I can select calculation and it changes it to that. I can select uh, a 20% accent, 40% accent, 60% accent, and uh, a very deep uh, color for each one of several different colors. So I'll go ahead with this one. And now I've changed the style on my particular selection. I can reverse that by selecting it again, going over to cell styles and going back to the normal style. So now I'm, I'm back to normal. Okay, so um, we uh, can uh, also modify row heights and column widths. To modify a row height, what I will do is come over and you'll notice when I get in between uh, two rows, like eight and nine, the uh, pointer changes to a double arrow. So now I can drag this down and I have a much long, uh, higher cell size for Thomas. And then likewise, I can drag it and move it back to normal. Same thing with columns. I move my pointer between two columns, like between D and E. Then I uh, left click and drag, and I've increased my column size. If I double click, it'll go back to the appropriate size for the column data that's been entered. Formulas are something that are important and we'll be using them to a great extent uh, throughout the first part of the course. So um, a formula is an equation that performs calculations uh, between cells in a worksheet or in a table. A formula always begins with an equal sign and a simple formula may contain cell references and operators. So to enter a formula, click the cell, <clears throat> pardon me, click the cell in which you want to enter the formula, type an equal sign, and then begin typing the formula. So let's go ahead. Let's say we want to find out the average age of this list of people. So here I am, I click the cell where I want to put the average age, I type in the equals sign, and then I start typing average. And Excel will bring up the various types of functions I can use, so I'm just going to double click average. Then for the input data, I'm going to just make a selection. So I click on the first row, and you'll notice it changes color. I drag it down to the end of the selection I want to compute the average on, then I can hit the enter key. And we find that the average age uh, for this list is about 32 and a half years old. So we can also do things with absolute and relative cell numbers. If you have something like E2 with uh, by itself, that's a relative uh, cell number. A relative reference is a reference that adjusts to the new location in the worksheet when the formula is copied. An absolute cell reference is a reference whose, for, whose location remains constant when the formula is copied. 
a mixed reference is a reference that contains a relative and an absolute address. So let's go ahead and copy this. And you'll notice I get a reference because uh, I have an absolute, I had a, a relative cell reference. And so when I move this, there's no information available for me to do things. So I'll go ahead and get rid of that. And next we'll go ahead and make a, a formula based on an absolute cell reference. So I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll try that one. So I've made this into an absolute cell reference by adding dollar in front of the column and row. So E2 is the E column, row two, that intersection. And with this, now I have an absolute cell reference. So when I copy this, let me go ahead and copy it and paste it here. Now I will get the 32 because it didn't try and change these cell references based on its new location. It kept the absolute numbers so it doesn't ever try and change them. So uh, we'll be looking at absolute and relative cell references in the future. Um, we can also do things like sum. We've got a sum function. I'll get rid of this, get rid of this. In addition to average, there's a sum function. Um, there's min and max functions. So let's find out what the minimum age is. So I'll go equals min. And so I'll double click min. I'll make the selection, hit enter. And the minimum age is one. So I'll put min there. And then we'll go max. And so I'll type in equal sign uh, max, double click max, make my selection again, hit enter, and the max is 68. So um, you've got a, a wide variety of formulas that you can use in uh, Excel. You can also have uh, and use date uh, functions and especially the now function. So you can use the date and time function or the now function to insert the date and time into your workbook. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll come down here and click in equals now. Oops. Um, equals now. And it returns uh, the date and time for uh, this particular exercise. Now we can also do charts. So let me get rid of the max and min. And let's look at making a chart out of the name and age of our uh, list. So we'll select the name and age in our list. And a chart is a visual representation of data from your workbook. So I've selected the data that I'm interesting in, interested in. And charts add a visual element to your workbook, and they help convey the information in a simple, uh, easy to understand manner. And Excel has a chart wizard that helps us walk through uh, creating a chart. So let's go ahead and go to uh, insert and then under charts I can select from a wide variety of types. I'll go to uh, the bar charts and we'll just select a simple uh, uh, bar chart right here and it's got um, 
the uh, a bar chart of people's age and everybody's age is represented by a bar and their names are represented by the names in the uh, X axis. Now uh, I can move this around by just selecting it and then moving it around like that. And of course, very easy to delete it as well. In addition to those things, we can add graphics to our workbooks. A graphic is a drawing or illustration, and it can be added to your workbooks. Uh, you've got things like auto shapes that you can add in. You can also insert clip art and other graphic files. Uh, you can insert uh, photographs and so on. So let's go ahead and put our uh, file here. Then we'll go over uh, our cursor here. We'll go over to uh, insert. And I'm going to go ahead and insert um, an illustration. And I'll make it a, um, uh, a let's do a shape. And I'll choose a rectangle. So I now can make a rectangle, and I've inserted a rectangle into my uh, spreadsheet. So again, this is, uh, you've got a lot of options. You can do a lot more than just insert uh, rectangles. You can have a variety of different shapes you can put in to uh, enhance the information presentation. Uh, you've got photographs you can add in. They've got org charts, uh, word art, and so on. So you've got a lot of uh, artifacts that you can insert into your worksheet to uh, increase its pizzazz. Okay, so this concludes the uh, basic introduction to Excel. Let's now go ahead, uh, go to uh, resources, and then go to tech plugins T2 and do the uh, exercise indicated there. And these T1 and T2 uh, exercises will be due next week before class. So let's go ahead and get started on that.